Today I'm going to try and remove the battery from my Vantrue Ondash R2 camera. The problem I'm having is the the charge of the battery doesn't last very long. If I park the car for more than let's say two or three days and I have a drive that's less than five minutes, I have the camera set for a five minute looping then the, there isn't enough charge in the battery to write the, the saved file to the memory card. If I drive longer than that, 10-15 minutes, then it works fine. I've tested charging the battery and then seeing how long the battery will run the camera just filming and it's only about 30 seconds and it should be three to five minutes. So there is a problem with the battery and let's take it apart and see what's wrong. There's two Phillips head screws on the top. I'm using a number zero Phillips. One. Two. Those are the only two screws. The rest of it is rather fiddly. It's a matter of getting the, the front half of the case and the back half of the case apart. I have a small pry tool here. I did this once before weeks ago. I'll see if I can replicate it. <laughs> it just turned on. Well, I may fast forward through this or cut it until I have it open. Okay, it started to run around the side now. It's a good sign. It's just one clip right here. You can see it's stressing through the plastic. There we go. Okay. The front of the camera away from the battery. I can see a dimple the battery here, which is being applied by the, a dimple on the front case here. So the, the battery that I replaced this with cannot be any thicker than the battery that's already in here. There's a little bit of wiggle room. It could be wider without being a problem. It could be a little bit longer, but the thickness is my limiting step. When I took it apart before, I see no specifications printed on the battery. It's supposed to be 500 milliamp hours. I don't know what it is. I've seen 380 and I've seen 500 milliamp hours for this camera. So that's it. It's a part. I'm going to measure the battery, buy a battery, and then I'll resume this video putting the new battery back in.
Well, it only took a little more than a week for my batteries to arrive from China. So that's not bad at all. The new batteries and the old battery are very similar in size. They only differ in two dimensions. The thickness is one half millimeter thinner on the new battery and the height is five millimeters taller than the original battery. So the, new, the old battery is pretty tight fit. Unfortunately, the terminals connect right under the corner of the battery. The new battery, it does fit snugly. And I'll probably add a bit of a, a loop of wire around and terminate at the same place and tuck the excess into this pocket. There's a pretty big pocket there. I'll do that off camera. Right, well I finished soldering the new battery in place and I decided rather than cut the wires short and looping them down the back of the board, I left them long and will run them down and back up the side of the battery and I cleaned all the double-sided tape that was on this chip here and I put a little piece of double-sided tape back on let's put it in place and see how it fits I'll do the wires last let's put the battery in first up against the camera lens and about there and tuck the wires in. And the wires fit neatly between the battery and these two buttons on top of the camera. Now it's just a matter of snapping the camera back together. Make sure I don't pinch any wires. It's going to be pinched in here. No, I didn't want to turn it on. was pinched okay. There we go. Oh, gotta do the base. Okay. It's operating. Let's turn you off. I just <coughs> okay there's not enough charge just to even run it. I saw the battery indicator up here was low. I had a, now I'm done. I just need to charge the battery and see how long it will operate on a full charge off the not not plugged into the car. The battery is now fully charged. Let's see how long it runs on just the battery. There's no memory card in the camera so if it runs for about three minutes and turns off then it's fine, even though it turns off before the battery drains. Full charge now, and it should slowly start to whittle away. Okay, that was about three minutes. I would say that was a success. The camera 
turned off before the battery finished. I'll have to see how the battery handles temperature in the car when the weather gets warmer. Thank you for watching.